Reena Bahari, Hockey, the Lost Glory. Hockey, the Lost Glory. Some would say it's participation. Some would say it's the number of spectators. But in my opinion, it is a combination of courage and excitement and challenges. And I find this combination in hockey. <laughs> Let me tell you some interesting facts about hockey. Hockey was introduced in India by the Britishers during their Raj, within the regiments and soon it became a favorite sport of the native Indians. In the 1928 Amsterdam Olympics, India, being a non-European team, swayed the gold medal without conceding even a single goal. Our visitory legend, Major Dhanchen, mesmerized the Amsterdam crowd by his dazzling skills. From 1928 to 1956, We've had lovely hockey players, Major Dhyanchan, Balbir Singh, KD Singh, uh, Deepak Dilip Tirke, and so on. And now, I hope all of us must have seen gold. <coughs> Everybody must have seen gold. Yes, the 1948 Olympics, which, play, uh, which have a, a very big importance in the history of hockey. <coughs> During that time, India had just gained independence. They had the joy of independence, but the pain of partition. India lost most of its experienced players due to the shifting of Pakistan. But the IHF collected funds and hockey players from all over India, irrespective of their race or their caste. They were sent to England. But the players found it very difficult to play due to the wet field. So then the captain at that time, uh, Captain Kishan Lal, he told them please play barefoot. And they won the gold medal in the Olympics in England, the place that colonized us for nearly 300 years. Hockey is a very exciting game. New rules have been introduced in the game, like the self-pass which allows to speed up the game and allows the game to continue without stopping it between unnecessarily. It requires a lot of physical toughness as it can be very highly demanding sport on the physical body. The player has to be powerful, firm and very strong as there can be a lot of rounds of sprints in between the game. Then it also requires a lot of skills, like the technical <coughs> skills, like the throw hook, or the overhead push, or the drag flip, or eliminating a player, and so on. Hockey is played out of passion. It is the passion that sticks the player to the game. We all know Sandeep Singh, the best drag flicker, when he was shot at the back and the pain he was going through and the agony when the doctor told him that you cannot walk because you are paralyzed and your lower portion will never be able to move again. It was his passion and love for the game that motivated him to get up, get treated and go back to the field. Hockey is a part of the Olympics which is the greatest sporting event in the world. It is the third most played game in the world. Hockey has a lot of health benefits, like it creates endurance, that and it boosts your energy system. As when you are playing, when you are running and resting, and that is when it means you're going through an interval training without realizing, which boosts your energy system and thus allowing the oxygen to pass to every muscle or every cell of your body. Then it teaches you balance, physical and mental coordination. But despite of these benefits, don't you think hockey is being underrated? It has lost its charm and glory. <clears throat> the government of India has recognized the game and 
has and has taken steps to promote the game in the country. We as onlookers and sports lovers can also contribute to the game. But how? Uh, think it over and let us bring up the game back to the arena of Indian sports. Thank you. Thank you, Rina. And round of applause for Rina.